Hi Cardinals! Today we're going to continue working with our teen numbers up to 20 with our learning target that says I can use cube towers to show, count, and write teen numbers by adding one more. We've worked with adding one more when we were working with our numbers up to 10. We're going to do the same thing now. So think back to when we did that a long, long time ago. We're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to go all the way up to 20. Before we start that, we're going to do some of our fluency practice. Then we're going to be big problem solvers as we look at an application problem and put on our great thinking brains. Then we'll get into adding one more to make teen numbers up to 20. Let's start off with our counting on our reckon rec. Let's count the say 10 way. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The say 10 way, 10, one, 10, two, 10, three, 10, four, 10, five, 10, six, 10, seven, 10, eight, 10, nine, two, tens. Great job, Cardinals. Now let's do our reckon right counting the regular number way. Ready, Cardinals? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job. Grade yourself on counting both the say 10 way and the regular number way. How are you doing switching back and forth? Great job. Now we're going to use our reckon rec to play show me. We are going to show one more. We've done this game lots of times when we used our fingers and Miss McKay would say, show me. And then I would say, show me one more. So you can follow along with your fingers as I do the wreck and wreck. Ready? Show me three. Show me one more than three. I should see four. One more than three is four. Great job. How many do we have? 13. One more is 14. How many do we have? Five. One more is Six. How many do we have? Fifteen. One more is sixteen. How many do we have? Eleven. Eleven. One more is Twelve. Ooh, this one's tricky. I wonder if I can trick you this time. How many do we have? Nineteen. Nineteen. One more is... Twenty. Great job, Cardinals. Kiss your brain. Now I'm going to say a teen number. You say it the say 10 way. If I showed you 11, the say 10 way is 10, 1. So I say 11, you say 10, 1. Ready, Cardinals, listen please. 13. You say, I should have heard ten three. 
I say nineteen. You say I should have heard ten nine. I say twelve. You say ten two. I say seventeen. You say ten seven. I say fourteen. You say ten four. I say sixteen. You say ten six. I say eighteen. You say. Ten eight. I say fifteen. You say ten five. Ooh, be very careful. I say twenty. You say two tens. Give yourself a touchdown. Great job, Cardinals! How are you doing at recognizing your teenage numbers and saying them the say ten way? Excellent job! You are rocking it out. Now it's time for us to be mathematician magicians and solve some problems. Listen to our story problem today. Mary has ten. Toy trucks. Stop. I just heard something important. I heard that Mary has ten toy trucks. Ten sounds like important information. Let's keep reading. She told her mom she likes to spread them out on the floor. Hmm. What does that look like if she spreads them out on the floor? Yes, they are scattered everywhere. She said she doesn't like to put them away neatly in the little box, the little toy box, because then there are fewer toys. Let's highlight that fewer. Fewer means less or not as much. Hmm. Can we draw a picture to prove to Mary? That the number of toy trucks is the same when they are all spread out as when they're in the toy box. Let's start off with creating a group of ten toy trucks. Let's spread them out in a scattered pattern, just like Mary likes them. Ready? Count. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What can we do to prove to Mary that her ten toy trucks are exactly the same, whether they're scattered on the floor or? In her toy box. Yes, we can create a box and we can move the toys into the box. Let's make a toy box for Mary. Let's put her toys into her toy box. Let's count as we move them. Ready? Hold on a second. Let me send this to the back. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Cardinals. Let's just draw the box for Mary. Let's create a box to put Mary's toy truck. Our box is not going to take up as much room as if they are scattered on the floor. Let's count the trucks to show her they fit. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten trunks that are neatly lined up is the same amount as ten trunks that are scattered on the floor. Doesn't matter how they're sitting, ten is still ten. So I have a tricky question for you. Can you tell your parents how many trucks Mary would have if she took her trucks out of the box and put them in a circle? Hmm, think about it. She had 10 trucks scattered on the floor. She moved those trucks into a box where they are lined up neatly. Did the amount change? No way, Miss McKay. We didn't add any more. We didn't take anything away. There's still 10. What if I took those 10 trucks and put them into a circle? Would I have to recount them? Let's see. If I moved these trucks and I put them into a circle, do you have to count the trucks? to tell me how many Mary has? No, 10 trucks is 10 trucks. If they're scattered, if they're lined up neatly, or if they're in a circle. Great job, Cardinals. Kiss your brains. Now let's think about that learning target we had today. We wanted to be able to show, write, and count to tell one more all the way up to 20. Let's look at my cubes. How many green cubes are in this tower? What do I do when I wanna know how many? Yes, I count. Let's count how many green cubes are in this tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cubes in my tower. If I was to put one more, I would have eleven. Ten. One more is Eleven. Great job. Now, how many do I need to put to make twelve? One more. I have eleven. One more makes well, I say 11, one more is 12. Great job, Cardinals. You are rocking it out, creating towers to show one more. I am proud of you. This tower could get really tall, so I'm going to start another tower right next to it just so we can see. I can see this tower as a group of 10 and a group of two. We have how many cubes all together? 12. Put one more. I say 12. One more is 13. Great job. If I have 13, how many do I need to put to make 14? Yes, just one more. 
13. One more is 14. Great job, Cardinals. How many cubes do we have all together? 14. 14 cubes. How many do I need to make 15? One more. 14. One more is 15. Great job. Now, how many do we have? 15. How many do I need to put if I want 16? Put one more. 15, one more is 16. How many do we have now? 16. How many do I need if I want 17? One more. 16, one more is 17. Remember, when we write our teenage numbers, we hide the zero. Now, how many cubes do we have? 17. 17. How many do I put to make 18? One more. Great job. 17. One more is 18. Hide that zero. How many cubes do I have now? 18. How many do I put to make 19? One more. 18, one more is 19. Kiss your brains. How many do we have now? 19. How many do I put to make 20? Just one more. 19, one more is 20. When I go to write 20, I don't start with a one. I say out loud, two tens. This is not a one. I write two to show I have two groups of 10. Kiss your brains. Now let's look at our paper. Our job is to write our numbers in the correct order from 10 to 20, remembering one more. I have 10, 11. Look at my cubes. I put one more to get to 11. How many need to be colored in? I need to put 11, 1 more is 12, great job Cardinals, 11, 1 more is 12. Now let's think, I need to put 12 cubes. Oops, I used the wrong color. I'll have 12 cubes, which is 10, 2. How many do I get if I add one more? 13. Excellent job. 12, one more is 13. How many cubes do I have? 13.
14. Let's do 10, 11, 12, 13. How many do I have if we put one more? 14. Great job. They wrote that number for you. If I have 14, how many do I have if I put one more? Yes, 15. 14, one more is 15. How many cubes did I have? I had 15, which is a group of 10 and a group of 5. How many do I have if I put one more? 16. Excellent job. How many cubes do I have now? 16. A group of 10. A group of 6. How many do I have if I put one more? 17. 16. One more is 17. How many cubes do I have now? 17. A group of 10. A group of 7. How many do I need to get 18? Just one more. 17. One more is 18. Great job, Cardinals. I had 18, which is a group of 10 and a group of 8. How many do I have if I put one more? 19. I had 19. How many do I need to get to get to 20? Just one more. 19, one more is 20. Excellent job. Let's say the numbers at the bottom of our page. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What do you notice about our picture? Yes, just like when we were doing our numbers up to 10, we've made a set of stairs. Each next number is just one more. 10, one more is 11. 11, one more is 12. 12, one more is 13. 13, one more is 14. 14, one more is 15. All the way up to 20. Great job. I'm so glad you noticed that they made our stairs just like we did when we were working with our amounts to 10. How many cubes did we put in our tower each time? That's right, just one more. Did our number or amount of cubes get bigger or smaller when we put one more? It got bigger. Great job today, Cardinals. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad you realized that we made stairs going all the way up to 20, just like we did with our numbers to 10. Now, some of you had to watch Miss McKay do it on the computer and you didn't join in with me when we had our paper. And that is okay. What does Miss McKay say? No printer, no problem. 
some things you can try at home. You can build a Lego tower. Tell one more with each brick. Look at this cool tower. That looks like a rocket ship. I wonder what you could build. Maybe your parents could take a picture of you building something, adding one more and telling how many. 11, one more is 12. 15, one more is 16. Or if you get a snack, like a bag of chips, as you take your snack out, you can tell how many you've eaten each time by just eating one thing at a time. Take your snack out one at a time and tell each time what is one more. If I ate 10 chips, how, do I, how many do I need to eat to get to 11 chips? Just one more. If I ate 18 chips, how many do I need to eat to get to 19 chips? Just one more. Great job, Cardinals. I'm going to challenge you to find creative ways to put one more all the way up to our teenage numbers. Come up with a creative way and send it my way. I can't wait to see what a great job you do. Kiss your brains. The smartest mathematician magicians. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.